Stan Jabalisco here from somewhere in intergalactic space with a little bit of an insight on how we might someday travel amongst the planets in our solar system. And here is the scheme that I will show you called a solar sail. A solar sail. If you've ever heard of this, there's something called the solar wind or the stellar wind and also uh, photons of electromagnetic energy which come from our Sun. They're a constant barrage of small particles that move out from the Sun very much like a wind and it has occurred therefore to some astrophysicists and uh, engineers who have in mind traveling amongst the planets that you could build a solar sail just very much in after the fashion of the old sailing vessels that used to sweep across the oceans going from say Spain to the United States <clears throat> or from England to South America or maybe it's Spain to South America and England to the United States how about that but anyway uh, the way that this works is that the pressure of the particles from the Sun or whatever star you happen to be uh, in the vicinity of will strike this gigantic uh, reflective piece of material very lightweight deployed in a gigantic sail the particles will bounce off of this just like the molecules of air bounce off the sail in a wind powered vessel like a sailboat and this thing can then be navigated uh, through the solar wind in very much the same way as the uh, regular ship goes through the regular wind. It's just the, there's one catch. These things aren't going to go very fast. So it's going to take you a long, long time to get, say, from the Earth to Jupiter using one of these things or from the Earth to Saturn's moon Titan. However, the advantage is that you don't have to carry any fuel along with you just as that was an advantage that they didn't know they had back in the days of old-fashioned sailing vessels so that's option number one for interplanetary travel I'll come at you with some other space travel options later on from rogue planet somewhere far far above the plane of some galaxy with no name in some universe with no clue. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.